Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of someone who is um, coming across as more logical. This is someone who is not moving based on emotions. They, they are coming across as being objective in the situation, but there's also a very trustworthy energy about the King of Swords. This is someone who you know they're quite direct and blunt like they want you to know the truth and they want you to return that transparency in you know that that's what they want in return so there's a mess in, in an energy here of like negotiating discussing things openly um not holding back being quite blunt about some the situation here so that you guys can kind of um address a situation and you know put up the boundaries or outline the standards or the expectations and you know just being honest with each other about something without kind of allowing emotions to get in the way because it's like they're telling it very matter of fact with this card so let's see okay we have the five of wands in the reverse fire energy the three of wands fire energy and the four of pentacles in the reverse um, earth energy so the five of wands shows conflicts it shows chaos it's like drama you know not seeing eye to eye with someone so it's in the reverse so this person is trying to avoid conflict or drama with you um, you could have already had some sort of conflict with them there could have also been too many people involved in the situation that made things worse um, but with the king of swords this person is stepping up and wanting to address whatever this conflict was there's a feeling of um, wanting to put this behind you, you know, wanting to move on from the conflict, wanting to hash things out and let go of any grudges or hard feelings. With the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, this, this is someone who's open. Um, they are ready to work with you to, to heal the situation with you. Um, but we are seeing this person, they, they don't want you to see how they feel. Like this is someone who... They could associate emotions with weakness because there's a feeling here of wanting you to view them as unemotional, you know, but they still want to address the situation, but they may not want you to know how exactly they, they feel or, you know, something about keeping their feelings to themselves. Um, but with the three of wands, they do still want this connection to progress. Like this is a desire for growth and expansion, still believing in the future prospects of this connection, but understanding that, you know, if this is a nip in the bud, it may hinder things moving forward. So this person is coming across as quite mature in the sense of wanting to handle this before moving forward, um, wanting to be open to hearing your perspective and um, giving you theirs as well. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Cancer. Okay, we have the five of cups and this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so whatever happened it actually really broke this person's heart uh, this is someone who is masking a lot of pain and hurt so it does look like they they want to come across as this king of swords but on the inside this person actually was really distraught over whatever happened whatever the fallout was or whatever was said um it, it really hurt them you know this is someone who 
you know, behind closed doors or when they were alone, they, they, they have been kind of saddened by the situation. Um, but what's great about this person is that they're not allowing their hurt emotions to prevent them from, you know, wanting to speak up and heal the situation. Because it looks like they may have taken time from this connection to kind of heal or to mourn or to be in their feelings. And now they, they feel like they passed that, they're kind of burying these feelings. But there's a bit of depression here, you know, but it's something they don't want to show, you know, but this person still still wants this connection. They're still hoping that there's another opportunity. They're still this waiting for more here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Four of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Two of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, you have a lot of influence over this person, more than you realize. And also, they don't want you to know that. This is someone who's afraid of their feelings being weaponized against them. But you actually have a lot of uh, influence over them, emotionally especially. The Two of Cups is showing up as you have this person's heart. Um, how you feel about this person is how they feel about you. There's reciprocated feelings here. And they actually view you as someone that they want to be with. They they want to be in a relationship with you. They view you as marriage material. Like, you're their wish fulfillment. You're their 11-11. Like, you're someone that they really want to progress with. They want you guys to actually work things out and take this connection to a higher level. With the Six of Pentacles, they want something fair though they want it balanced and equal they're only going to give what they know they'll get back you know they want it to be a fair exchange um and so this person is giving to the situation but it's like they they're not over giving they're giving enough to see if you'll give back and then they can give again you know there's that feeling of really being focused on things being balanced and equal um because in the past it does look like there was something here that threw things off balance and there was a lot of conflict and it actually kind of scarred them um this person they don't want you to know that they they are actually kind of scared um they do have fears around things not working out because there's something very significant about this connection for them and there is a fear that you know they if they were to lose this kind of connection they they fear they may not recover so this person does try very hard to protect their feelings and one way they do that is by wearing this king of swords mask which is kind of like coming across as nonchalant and um and emotional you know but detached but still you know the king of swords at least this is someone who is showing up as willing to communicate and willing to meet you halfway like if you're willing to give they're also willing to give this is someone who really wants things to be fair um but they are more invested in this connection than you realize especially on an emotional level um but that's something they don't want you to know that you actually have their hearts okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um Cancer. Okay, we have your commitment is being tested first quarter moon okay so yeah this person still wants this connection they still feel like whatever happened here they don't look at it as a deal breaker they feel like this it was just a test in this relationship and that you guys can get to this four of wands place they still feel like there's hope for this connection um, they may even feel at times as if you test them or they could be testing you at times but they still like this is someone who's actually more committed than you realize Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so it could be this person here there's like this feeling of you guys did separate and they were heartbroken by it there's something about a conflict that sparked that and they they still feel like this can be recovered this reconciliation is still something they believe in okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you
Okay, we have destiny. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. So they still see a future with you. This person could have always viewed you as the one. Like they see you as someone who, you know, they are meant to be with. But, you know, this person, they really, ha there's a lot of weight. You hold a lot of weight when it comes to them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. Okay, we have surrender your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to open up to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams okay so there's definitely this this view that this connection um there's many ways in which it could play out you know this is someone who is looking at, at looking at it as um perhaps you guys had an idea of how you wanted things to transpire and there was something like a a roadblock you know you guys came across here but this person still believes there's there's still a lot of avenues towards this destination like they still feel like you're you're meant to be in their in their life you guys are meant to be together but it is requiring some level of forgiveness or open-mindedness um, also not clinging or holding on to a fixed way of viewing things or holding on to a certain outcome or a way that things are supposed to be with that four of pentacles being in the reverse um, but still holding space for this connection this person really wants this connection and it's almost like they only realized how much they wanted it when they, they entered into this five of cups energy like this is when whatever happened that separated you guys if there was a, a, a breakup or a fallout it hurt them so much and there's this realization that if it hurts this much maybe it really did mean a lot to me because this person it looks like they're the kind of person who has coping mechanisms of coming across as nonchalant unbo unbothered or unemotional this is a defense mechanism and something about this connection cut through that and so this is someone who is feeling like yeah there's something special about this connection um, but it's an unfamiliar feeling for them so it is requiring a lot of open-mindedness to them for them as well okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer